young and flourishing transforming Africa. We thank God who has uh, taken us this far. We thank God that we are in this first week of July. I welcome you to this new month. I welcome you to Flourishing Hub. Flourishing Hub is a program that is brought to you by Young and Flourishing Foundation. Now this uh, program is centered around four pillars. The first pillar is money, which we all want. But um, what Young and Flourishing does is to teach you how to work then how to save the money and then invest this money so that it can accumulate more and more. The second pillar is daring, yeah, t a risk taking, especially in business. The third pillar is strategy. You should have a plan. We are now in the second half of the year. Do you have any plan for the rest of the year? Do you have any plan for this month? strategy is very important because if you do not have a plan then you'll always be in other people's plans and the last pillar is mentorship we all need mentors we all need people who we look up to we all need people who speak in our journey now uh, the value of mentorship is uh, examined and disseminated in Young and Flourishing Foundation. Edwin Austin Mukalas is my name this evening we are delighted because we are now going to explore the talents in our children because we know that uh, children are gifts and these gifts come with special and unique talents so it is up to us the parents to venture and examine their creativity and their talents and what they can do we are delighted today to have someone uh, very special who is going to do a lot of wonders here and I believe you who is a parent or an aspiring parent by the time we end this program you will have opened up your mind when it comes to enabling creativity and innovation amongst our children of course as you see yeah uh, uh, my dressing code is a little funny today I want to look like the Scooby-Doo <laughs> boom uh, join me as we welcome the one Angel Biarugaba, who is the CEO Scooby Doo's Boom Limited. Angel, most welcome. Thank you very much, Adrian. It's a I'm pleasure having here. you this evening. I am very honored to be here. Wow. Yes. How is Scooby Doo? Scooby Doo is fun, mm. full of joy and laughter. Mm. And yes, it's it can't be fun without a team that I work <laughs> with. Okay. I work with a great team, mm. and it's a fun filled company. Okay. Yes. You know, um, our table is really decorated. Now, one, someone would really want to know what does Scooby do Boom Limited does. Mm. Uh, Thank you very much, Adrian. Uh, Scooby do Boom is a children entertainment company. Yes, we focus on young children of zero, of one to fourteen years of age, and uh, our company mainly focuses on children and bringing out uh, that which we cannot bring out as parents in a home. We go and tackle it out there as we play. So we are a children entertainment company. Our products include bouncing castles, clowns, face painting, ice cream, and so much more. And our entertainment um, focuses on uh, enhancing and bringing out the communication skills of children mm -hmm. in an exciting and safe play environment. And our main goal is to ensure every child has a right to play regardless of their status. Okay. Yes. Now, when you talk about a right to play, uh, you remind me of the English proverb, uh, English saying that I used to recite days back in school, work without play makes, <laughs> makes, makes, Adrian, uh, a dull makes boy. Adrian a dull boy, surely. Yes. So uh, we are looking at enabling creativity and innovation mm -hmm. among us children, but we really want to get a hint of how you come up with this idea in the first place. Uh, I know I've not, I've, not, I've not given you an opportunity to tell us uh, the detailed bit of Angel Biarugaba because uh, what we've known you of is what you're doing, but uh, I know you have a lot more behind you that um, our audience would really want to get about you. Yes. Yeah, I am <laughs> Angel Biarugaba again. I am a mother, I'm blessed yeah. to be a mother, and I have a great partner. I have a strong family. I come from a strong family filled with love. Mm. I drink from that cup of love every day. 
I am honored to be a child of Michael John Biargaba the late and Mary Christa Biargaba and I celebrate with them today and um, my journey of children entertainment also started back then when um, I should say it was brought, given life through my big sister Lillian who is a mother to us as well and um, I remember one statement she kept saying is once you want something so bad mm. the universe conspires but all this started in her house as I used to babysit children and watch a lot of children programs and change diapers and all that and she was able to capture that gift in me and nurture it and tell me you can do great in children entertainment how old were and you, you then? can do that i was at university mm -hmm. but i will take you back to when while in school mm. while in school i used to act in plays and be in the band so mm. even in my home i am the i wa i should say i am the loudest <laughs> but uh it started um a couple of years ago but in her home i was babysitting her son marco yes marco is about 22 years now so we used to babysit watch children programs i would not touch the dish the dishes but I would ensure he has not fallen, or Maya has not fallen, or nothing has happened to them. They've eaten, they've fed, and I have also enjoy, enjoyed the entertainment mm. with them on TV. So because of that, she was able to nurture me and tell me, you should go and study something in children entertainment. But I was like, no, I'm not gonna make money mm -hmm. in children entertainment. <laughs> so I went ahead against her, went to do something, applied for a university in South Africa. I was given, but we were not able to raise most of the money. And she said, come back home, I will pay for you at university. I went to do masters in social sector planning and management. Mm -hmm. I did not finish it quite well. And she was still able to tell me, you're, you're very good with children, please focus on children. And along that way, she still nurtured me and said, start with what you have and then you will grow with that. And mm. we started with a small part of sending my brother Albert money all the way in the UK, who mm. brought us one bouncing castle. And I am also happy to, to, to tell you that my sister held me by the hand, walked with me and ensured that this business is alive until today. So I am honored to have you, Lillian, as my sister, and I thank you. Oh, wow, yes. Lillian, we really <laughs> honor you. So how long have you been in this business? I've been in this business for over 12 years, coming to about 15 years. Okay. Yes, please. Yeah. That, is, that is very important. <laughs> now, we are looking at uh, creativity and uh, enabling creativity and innovation among its children. Um, what do you, how can you break down the word creativity to someone watching mm. us? Okay, mm. well, creativity is quite interesting. Mm. <laughs> ah, well, 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 I will first of all maybe first create it, uh, relate it with a dictionary. Mm. What would your dictionary say? Do you have a dictionary so you can read for us? I have one yes. on, on my, my phone. Yes. Uh, creativity, the noun is the use of imagination or original ideas to create something. Okay, thank mm. you very much. So your, your dictionary says to create or make things. Yes. Well, when I spoke to my son, I also have a daughter, Lola mm. and Imani, Rutemba says creativity in his world is to make use of your talent and to come up with something out of your talent. Mm. Lola says, it allows you to go out and imagine your world and then bring it into reality. The little girl Imani who's five years says creativity, for him I asked him to create something so she told me you want me to draw? So I said draw your day. So for her creativity in her mind is drawing. But when I talk to creative thinkers again and have done so much research and I look at Jonathan Tilly who says creativity is universal and individual. But when I break it down to other people they're like creativity is a force. Another person will say creativity is good. Mm -hmm. Another one will say creativity is love. And another one will say it's a feeling. Another one will say it's an entity which you cannot touch or feel, but you know it's there. Another one will say mm -hmm. it's a presence. You come in, it takes you up, shapes you all the way, but again, you cannot touch or feel it. So I also keep 
juggling around and ask you, Adrian, do you prefer the, 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 the bit of making things vis-a-vis -vis feeling, mm. or do you prefer creativity defining it as love or as God vis-a-vis -vis creation? So I don't know, creating things. Mm. So for me, I embrace it as a feeling, as a thought process. Mm. Thank you. Wow. So in other words, mm. we shouldn't limit our minds to the dictionary meaning yes. of creativity. Yes. But everyone has their own interpretation yes. of creativity. We yes. should be giving attention. Yes, please. Uh, I love it when uh, the little one says creativity <laughs> is drawing. <laughs> yes, to draw your day. <laughs> to draw your day. Yes, you mm. can relate that to drawing your day. Sometimes even children, like we talk to children or other or you or the children we tell them, mm. please journal what happens in your day to day. It's still your still tickling them to be creative. Mm. And then the little ones who can't write, you tell them to draw your day. And once they draw it, you're able to see exactly what their day was like wow. in the evening. Wow. Yes. Now, uh, I, want to, I want you to take us through some of the steps uh, through which someone can go through and then reach a point of saying, I have achieved my creativity. <laughs> 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 Ooh, that's a tough one, but um, yeah. I will try, uh -huh. I will try. Uh -huh. I will look at creativity in different ways. Mm. I think it still begins with a thought, mm. and also creativity is a process. I still learned this from Jonathan Tilly, I listen to him a lot. Mm. It's a process, it has a beginning, middle, and end. So when we are with our children and allowing them to create, for example, I have a very good friend who's a baker, mm. yes, so when you start the baking process, mm. it has the beginning, yes. middle, and end. Mm. But again, it all depends on the beginning and the end. Mm. Just like somebody who's going to cook a meal for you, it has a beginning and an end. Mm. So it is a process vis-a-vis -vis if you bake, how many minutes or hours will she take to bake that cake? Mm. For example, yeah, Herbert, Herbert is a friend of mine. Mm. Yes, he, he likes to write books. I've, mm. I've read one of his books young and flourishing, mm. but when I look at Herbert's thought process of writing a book vis-a-vis -vis baking a cake or making a meal, Herbert may take about three months to about three years mm. or even less to write a book. And Herbert may need a safe place to go and pour down his creative juices and write down. Mm. Somebody else, Maya or Priscilla, will also sit down and say, let me have my creative thought process to bake this cake. Mm. So everything, it doesn't matter what time, as long as you come out creative and eventually be innovative. Okay. Mm. Wow. And then another space is that, mm. uh, that I should also say, mm. is that it needs a sacred place. For example, an artist mm. who wants to draw will need to have a space that is quiet mm. and will think through that process. Mm. Somehow, somebody who loves reading should also go into a library where they silence and create that. Mm. And that process, I keep talking about my son. I don't read it. I didn't love reading. Mm. Uh, my partner loves reading. He's a reader, very intelligent. But I didn't want my son to catch that disease of mine of not <laughs> loving to read. So how did we help him? Mm. My partner read for him every night. He doesn't work here, but he read bedtime stories for him. As he started reading for him every night, I thank him for that. It's not easy. Mm -hmm. I also said, I can read to him if he doesn't like reading. So I started reading to him. And through that process, the next journey, he was like, Mommy, I will read this chapter. So the journey starts like, if you can't read, let me read to you. And another thing is that creativity needs to be shared mm. as you create and you're finished creating adrian mm. allow your creation to be embraced with the mm. environment mm. like i will relate this with uh joan joan who is a coach mm. yes she calls me in to go and support her to do icebreakers for the team for for the different corporate spaces she works in if she did not give me that chance to believe in me conspiring with her universe, I don't mm. think she would be able to share her creation with me. Mm. And because she shares it, it becomes cyclical and it's a cycle. And at the end of the day, once I also get what I'm learning, they're able to share with me and I also go out and share. We also share with uh, Missionaries of the Poor Foundation. Mm. We support them. Uh, as, as we carry out our entertainment world, meaning that even then as we learn to 
allow these children to be creative. Mm -hmm. We must allow them to say that once in a while, go out and give charity. Or if your daughter is an artist and has done this artwork, mm -hmm. allow them to give that artwork, to go out into the studio and be bought by another person. Mm -hmm. who will again recreate it and define it in another way. Mm -hmm. So we must understand that creativity is embraced in those ways. Another point I will also say is that in creativity, let's allow our children to make mistakes. Mistakes, we should embrace the failure word mm. and allow them to embrace and say, Mommy, I have failed. As they go into that swimming gala, mm. do not say you must win. Allow them to finish. Allow them to finish the journey and tell them it's not about winning, mm. it's about finishing. Mm. So even then, as we make mistakes, allow them that it gets messy. This whole table is messy. <laughs> we have no idea what's going to happen. There are leaves, there are finger puppets. It's messy mm. and it's messing up your studio. Mm. But let's allow that it is messy. Thank you very much. It is messy for the good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because, uh, because we, have a, we have a mentality, you know, mm. we are Africans, uh, mm. where a mother really wants to organize their mm. house uh, the perfect way. And then when mm. a child comes up to do such, mm. then that is a mess at home. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, uh, because we, we are looking at this and we are imagining we have this, um, you have an uh, a five-year-old. A five-year-old? I will relate who, with Imani. Uh, who, who <laughs> says our creativity uh, is drawing uh, your day. Uh, but mm -hmm. we, we look at uh, a parent who has a four-year-old or, mm -hmm. or a five-year-old, or even a six-year, seven-year-old child who they don't know how to, to, to explore their mm. creativity. Can mm. you kindly do for us an illustration so that, uh, <laughs> are, you know, because we look at some of these things you as uh, things that are suspicious. It is fine. It is fine. Ah, oh, I can share with quickly, you. Quickly, quickly. Two minutes, two minutes. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. I can use this paper. Yes. I have this. Mm. So okay. I will say, for example, Imani, put your fingers right here mm. and I will place them round, mm. round off these are five mm. fingers. Yes. Imagine they are Imani's little fingers. Mm. And I will quickly pour some glue and mm. ask her to create. This is glue. I have done used stick glue. Mm. And ask her maybe to create some leaves. These leaves have been brought from our garden mm. at home. These are leaves. Mm. They are looking black, mm. but they are quite exciting. Mm. And I will quickly say, Imani, this is Play-Doh. Mm. What will you use today? And then she'll say, I'll put some fruits. Mm. This is Play-Doh. Everything is in the comfort of your home. Mm. If she wants another colored fruit, mm. you can say, maybe I will use this pink, pink mm. fruit. And that's it. Mm. And then quickly you can say, Imani, can you please put some roots on your tree? Mm. And then she quickly puts roots. Mm. And then it's an exciting tree. Uh -huh. wow, wow, wow. <laughs> I think that so, can be so done in about two minutes. If you have oh, some glue, <laughs> you pour it around mm. and then also mm. put some glitter and mm. then you glitter it around. So the little girl's imaginations mm. will be widened. You don't have to go anywhere. This mm. is clean. Okay, I will use the blue glitter and then pour it here. Imagine you show this to your, you show this to your teacher. Mm. Imagine I am Imani mm. and I will say, teacher, this is my day. Mm. I went into the garden, <laughs> I, I, I it was beautiful it clear, and it had glitters. fruits. Mm. So it's an exciting thing like that. Wow, you just wow, be wow. present with them and allow them to go spread their imagination mm. and be wild. Wow. And also, we should allow that we don't judge. Because mm. another child will come and tell you, mm. Adrian, one plus two is five. Mm. And then you will say, no, one plus two is three. Mm. Allow me, allow your child to explain to you what exactly she means by saying one plus two is five. You've reminded me yes. of, of, of mm -hmm. something. Mm. Uh, there is a WhatsApp video I was watching yes. where a teacher was asking mm -hmm. uh, a certain little girl mm -hmm. that if I have two apples yes. and I add two apples, how many apples do I have? Yes. So the girl insisted, I uh, no, how many apples do you have? So the girl was, I have five. 
Then she said, okay, if I have two mangoes, mm. if, if, if you have two mangoes, and I add you two mangoes, how many mangoes do you have? Four. Yes. Then if you have two apples, and I give you more two apples, how many do you have? Mm -hmm. Five. And I think the teacher is losing uh, the, <laughs> the patience. Shame. You know, I think somewhere he thought maybe the student was, this learner was dense or what. Mm -hmm. Until when he gave the little girl a chance to explain. He said, because the fifth apple is in my bag. <laughs> That was a good one. That was a good one. Mm. This is also a beautiful thing I brought in from so Lola. So what is this? She said, um, this was for my birthday recently. Mm -hmm. I found it there. It was a surprise. She put pool gently. Mm. So she created this box and put happy birthday, Auntie Angel. I and see created she has used it. That. Very, and you can see she took things. too much time. Exactly. She used the materials in the house. Yes. So as parents, we must make sure that even the environment, there is mm. paper, there is color, there is mm. marker. We don't need so much. We don't need so much money mm. to go out and create tools of, of trade mm. for our children to mm. work with. So he, it says pull gently and then wow. it says 14 facts you must know. You're wow. nice, you're beautiful, you're loved, you're strong, there's so much. You're a game changer, you're, you're unique, unique, you're, you're funny, funny, you're, you're brave, brave, you're confident. Oh my you're god, if you read all this, <laughs> You wouldn't you walk on Mars? And fearfully made. <laughs> yes. You're a princess in God's and for eyes. Me, this was you're the highlight. loving, you're a peacemaker. Yes. Wow. <laughs> so for me, this was a highlight. And then you get it back and mm. push it back mm. so that another person can be blessed again sure. as they read it. Wow. wow yes. Wow. How old is the one who made this? Lola is 11. She actually did very well. She's with Aga Khan school she was one of the outstanding students wow, wow, she performed wow, very well year wow. six going into year seven okay yes wow this is this is so amazing so i realize uh you don't need a lot you don't yes. need uh, much to mm -hmm. uh, to, 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 to extract the mm -hmm. creativity even mm -hmm. the environment can attract them yes. now uh how can these parents create an environment that uh, fosters the learner's creativity, that the ah, children's creativity? Some children, some parents may say, my child is too young to mm. do this, yeah. but I don't believe that. I think if we go in and rediscover ourselves as parents, mm and say how do we ignite the children's creativity. But remember we are creating together. How do we also ignite our purpose mm. in these children's lives? So that you're not that you're not in that environment which is harsh, yeah, mm. which is negative and which which does not give room. They need an environment which is respectable, mm. which is happy and healthy. Because children also must be respected. Mm. So as we go in and say a baby you can have finger puppets. These are finger puppets. Mm. And tell them a story. And just be nice. And say, you look lovely today. How was your day, Adrian? And then you talk about it. I am telling you, they will smile. Wow. You can also come in if your daughter is not feeling well. Mm. Hold that puppet and love them. And tell them you love them. If your son loves pirates, mm. these are pirates who don't do anything. <laughs> if someday my son says, Mommy, mm. today I don't feel like doing anything, mm. maybe we will have a happy puppet day and say daddy has allowed you to be free today <laughs> you're a pirate who doesn't do anything in this house and maybe if you're a happy girl who has refused to eat her food mm. smile to the child and let them eat their food don't Adrian, will you refuse to give me a smile today no. if i smile at you this way no. so all these things we can create around us mm. and i will also say today i don't even feel like going to shower mommy mm. how about we come up with some ways to shower in the bathroom mm. and then you go and sing with your child or mm. tell them a story as they have that bath mm -hmm. yes so it should be it should be universal it should be because they say it's individual mm. yet universal so it should be shared throughout from mother child it should be embraced with the people who work in your workspace mm. the housekeepers 
there should be that air that we are breathing that is positive mm. all the way from somebody who opens the gate in your house mm. all the way to somebody who cooks for you mm. let it be unity and happiness the creativity is fun when the environment is safe mm. thank you so when you talk about uh, a safe uh, environment that fosters mm. creativity mm. Um, i look at a parent mm. so does it mean that in the first place a parent should be creative in the first uh, in the first sense because, uh, sincerely speaking, uh, if a parent is not creative, mm -hmm. then I think they might not attract the little ones to be. No, I don't think. We have agreed that creativity is a feeling, mm. it's love, it's, it's, not, it's not that I think we are all creative. We are all creative. If I ask you something, mm -hmm. Adrian, do you, have you cooked a meal before? You've prepared something, yeah. yes. You designed what to wear today. Mm. And you planned your home, your house, what it should look like. Mm. There are different ways of creativity that we all have, but we just need to ignite them. Even then, find out what your child likes. Maybe your child loves dancing and they love to go for ballet. Go and escort them, and as you go, you're also finding your purpose in there as you're there. So there's no parent who's not creative. We are all creative thinkers. And we must have that positive attitude and say we are all creative thinkers. Everybody is creative all the way from the unsung heroes, the teachers, the cleaner. Everybody does it in the most creative and perfect way. Mm -hmm to reach your goal. So there are some unsung heroes that you'll not call creative thinkers, mm. but they are. I will go and garden your home in the most creative way. So allow everybody to be creative in their own space. Mm. Yes. So when the creativity is ignited, mm. um, you talked about you talked about a parent mm. uh, watching mm. the children mm. and uh, realizing what they can do. Mm. So how can a parent identify their child's ability mm. to do certain things? Because you said if maybe they like ballet. How do how will I even know that mm. my child is interested in ballet? Mm. Mm. Um, like, um, how, please repeat that again. No, I mean, how can a parent really uh, tell mm. that uh, this is my child's area of interest? Mm. Because you realize we, we are living in a world where parents are very busy. Uh, they spend little time with their children. Perhaps some parents go back home when the children, uh, children are already asleep. Mm. So in the two or three hours, or in that one Saturday or Sunday they spend with the children, mm -hmm. how can they tell, how can they monitor their children to appreciate the various gifts and talents and creativity abilities in them? Mm -hmm. uh, I must say that uh, however busy we are, mm -hmm. I want to first come out of that part and say we must always make time. And when you're with me as your child, mm -hmm. right now, I am present with you, Adrian. Mm -hmm. I have closed out the world. Mm -hmm. I am thinking about who you are, mm -hmm. and also I am listening to you and communicating. Mm -hmm. Once you are present with your child, you will know that when you tell your child to go and do A, B, C, D, they will not respond. My son loves football. Mm -hmm. Once you talk about football, even in the middle of the night, he will turn and become blue black. <laughs> Because <laughs> even when you ask him to go and study, mm. he will go and read. Before you know it, the computer has football. Mm. You can see as, you, you, as you're with your children. Mm. Even then, don't just be creative, just doing homework. Mm. Yes? Just homework. Because someone will say, I am creative with my child mm. doing homework. Mm. That's not creativity. Well, at that point, let us take a short commercial break. Mm -hmm. When we come back, we are going to continue from there. Don't go anywhere. Yeah. Thank you.
young and flourishing, transforming Africa. And one of the ways we can transform Africa is by uh, appreciating the creativity of the little ones, because this is the next generation. And if we have uh, a, a generation whose creativity has been appreciated and supported, then we have a transformed Africa, a transformed continent. I welcome you back from the commercial break. This is Flourishing Hub. I drink Austin McCullers is my name. We are with Angel Biarugava and she's the CEO of Scooby-Doo Boom Limited. Yeah, and today I'm also part of Scooby-Doo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, look, I look nice in this shirt. Yes, so do I. <laughs> so Angel, uh, we are back from the mm -hmm. commercial break, but before the break, <laughs> actually, greet us, uh, let, let uh, <laughs> this one greet us and welcome us from the break. <laughs> Scientists have told us to say hello to you and allow us to be in our creative mind and also allow us to shake the world and inspire the world and bring out the best in ourselves because they say nobody is original. Not so? Yes, thank you very much. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is amazing, <laughs> even the way you play, because we, we always see these uh, being sold out there. But I think we never take time to know how important they are and how beneficial they are. Now, when I saw you uh, playing around with them, I was like, wow, I even saw something over like, and I was like, but do I really need this? Mm. <laughs> Yet, yes, in actual we sense, do. we need these, yes, these small, do. small things. We actually also have. One of the best clowns, we have Tevin, we have Martin, mm. and great face painters. Mm. So the clowns play with the children, they have a variety of games, mm. they bring out that, that part that is competitive in a nice way. Mm. The shy ones are able to play, like when Martin is on the ground, he shakes the ground. And then Tevin comes, comes out also with his own vibe mm. and shakes it. So they all also do puppet shows for the children. Okay. Yes, they are, there's Andy and Lulu. I send you greetings, <laughs> Andy and Lulu, and the team. Yes. Okay. Now, uh, before we get back to our, our, our uh, the, the, what we are talking about before the break, I would first of all ask you, why is it important that, uh, why, is it, why is face painting important? How does it stimulate a child, especially in entertainment and, you know, enjoying and feeling that they are really part of this world? Mm -hmm. Because uh, sometimes on weekend in the evening, I find children very excited with those paints on their faces and it's as if they're on the top of the world. Mm -hmm. How does this change their mindset? Uh, children, children go into a world just like you, Adrian. Mm. You can wake up in the morning and maybe if you're a child or not a child, even then, mm. you can want to be Superman. So when you, you, you paint their face as Superman or Spider-Man, it makes them imagine they have superpowers. I am a superhero. Mm. If my dad is a hero, even me, I am a superhero. So it takes them into a world of imagination, you allow them, allow your daughter to be a princess for the day. Uh, and then we also put those colorful mirrors for them to see their faces. Ibra is a very good face painter. Colin, that's, that's some of our face painters, very good. But when the kids paint their faces, you see that even when they came with a squishy and frowny face, mm -hmm. once they look in the mirror, they are happy. It just creates a natural feeling and a natural happiness. Mm. There's so much that kids cannot say, but some, like they say, some words cannot be spoken, mm. but you can just see their expressions. Mm. And, and like I told you, uh, I, I meet them in the evening mm. and you realize they are extremely happy. And I think those small, small things never get yes, off their minds. They don't, they don't, they don't. Even your mom just planning a party of your dream, mm. It, it will never go. You will do the same for also your daughter or your child. As a child, you're like, oh my God, my parents do this. Even as we do this, Adrian, I'll take you back. Mm. If a child has never seen your parent creative, I'll give a simple example of me being in the house. The housekeeper has gone and you're as a child. And the child, there's, there's rice or cereal and there's milk in the fridge. 
if a child has never seen their mom cooking a warm milk or their dad fixing something, there will be no connection in that. The child might get the milk and not know that they have to warm it. Or they might get the rice and not even know they have to boil it because they do not know that creativity process involved mm. in there. So even then, as they come to paint their faces, they will look at it, they will look at him, they will see what he does with a paintbrush, and someday they will say, maybe I will go into Pablo Picasso's world mm. and go and also paint my world and become an artist by mm. learning something small from a face painter. Mm. Yes, you wow, don't know what wow, it changes. Wow, wow, wow. Mm. So I, I believe uh, <laughs> parents are really uh, benefiting a lot out of this discussion. Mm -hmm. Now back to what we had started on. Uh, we are looking at how a parent can really tell and you were emphasizing how important it is for a parent to create time for their children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we'll pick it up from there. Oh my God. <laughs> <sighs> I need to switch it back. <laughs> um, no, we are, we are looking at uh, how a parent talk can, about can, can, can. We are looking, yeah. looking at how a parent can really identify the various gifts and talents and, and uh, creativity yes. ideas, creative mm. ideas in their children and appreciate them. Yes, we keep arguing in our house yeah. with my son and family. The dad keeps saying, Mom says, be present. I kept saying it to the point that. I think that it lost meaning in the house because <laughs> I would realize that sometimes they are teasing me mm -hmm. about the fact that I say, be present. <laughs> they would talk about it. But what I meant to say is that, Adrian, when you are present with your child, I am present with you right now. Yeah. When you are present, you're able to know that when my son goes on that football pitch, he will score a goal. Or when I put on that football match to watch, his mind disappears. Or when he holds a paintbrush, he's different. My daughter Lola is also very artistic. She loves to, she's an artist. Yeah. When she gets things, the one who did that, yeah. she turns everything around. So as you sit down, if we speak to our children, some of them, you're able to say, you might say, no, I'm going to take you here, you must play football. What if your son is not even interested in football? And for them, they want to be an artist, or they want to be a swimmer. Yeah. Huh? So, talk to them. These children listen, but again, respect them as you speak to them. Listen in, be present. Don't come to talk to me and you're on your phone. Don't come to talk to me and you're rushing for a meeting. Come and see me creative at school. When it is a school day, uh. you're able to see different things, different characters. Go to the teacher's parents' day, progress day, PTC. Speak to those teachers. There are some things that they approach from your children that you don't know. And some of them they may say, which you don't believe about your children, you're able to say, this is not right about my son, Utemba. Mm. He doesn't do this. But the more time you spend that is present, and it doesn't mean you have to spend six hours with your child every day. Even if it's one hour, it's present. Mm. You can know what they want to be or what they like. And along the way, things can change, but you're still in the same path. Okay. Even then, Adrian, just going to your son's football match means so much more and it will a memory that will keep playing and playing mm. for some time even you if your daughter loves to bake go sit down go to Silas Ove go to cake away let them be get that moment and go and go into that door and bake that cake and come up with that cookie and say mommy I made this brownie mommy I did this let's embrace all that mm. yes now when you talk about when you talk mm -hmm. about that you reminded me when i was in primary three i used mm -hmm. to have uh, mdd at school mm -hmm. so i was i was given a role to lead a song mm -hmm. but you know i was young i was i was even fearing crowds and what mm -hmm. so when i stood i had these fears <laughs> in me and i saw a very big crowd in the main hall but among these four was my mom, mm, you were happy. who had come with the sister, so my, my, my aunt. Now when I saw these people, that alone 
and my you. mind yeah. and there was the confidence because yes. i knew yeah at least there is someone there yes. appreciating me yes. and uh, before long of course i saw them coming to give me some money and mm. you know that so when you were talking about that i remembered that and yes. how important it is yes. <laughs> i think when we do that mm. with the children it means so much i also still have memories of my father coming to see us play. Mm. I have m memories of my father making me feel that I am mm. the best mm. to the point that he tells you, do not give away your power mm. as a child. <laughs> so these memories, when the child sees their parents and they're acting, believe me, recently my sister went to watch my niece acting in a play. When she saw her, she was able to dance and act like mm. she was really <laughs> showing her that I am connecting with your soul and I am happy. So those things change us. We do not know how, but the universe conspires along the way. Mm. You don't know what happens, but it is just happening mm. between the two of you. Uh, and the other thing is, I think this time I was in secondary, mm. so I was given a role, mm. still in MDD, to act. But I was acting uh, a certain lifestyle, mm. so I, I, I now mimicked my father's job yes. doing the other lifestyle and now this means that i was i was already expressing my dislike mm. for what my dad was doing then and when we came out he told the teachers i now know he doesn't like what i, what I do mm. from what because he first asked them, is this how he told him to act it? No, 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 He just created all this. Other. He was like, I think he doesn't like, uh, he doesn't like my mm. job or what. Mm. Yeah. And I think somehow, somewhere, he, he, he now started asking me, if I, told, if I gave you a chance in your vacation to stay here, would you stay? Yes. And then, but he had seen it some time yes. back you that I have a message. dislike for this, yeah. and because it was not part of me, so he was trying to confirm to mm. confirm this mm. with this. So I was like, ah, but what if I do this? I mean, so when I brought in very many excuses, he now knew. Mm. <laughs> yes, that's very true. Mm -hmm. Because also, um, a friend of mine, I think. Was that Josephine? Yes. She one time mentioned that sometimes children see what we do. Mm -hmm. If you wake up as a parent and the child does not even see you get out of that house to go and create, mm -hmm. to go and look for money, mm -hmm. and you're sitting at home, believe me, your son or daughter will not be inspired by you because mm -hmm. you're letting it look like it's all easy mm. and then as we create in our spaces like you're saying carry the children let them come and see my dad is an engineer mm. my dad is a farmer my mom does kids entertainment my mom is a baker like Silas oven go and bake with them mm. let them learn that journey of creativity that eventually puts food on their table and they will respect you and embrace it mm. and not take it for granted all right, because you are holding on to them and these kids grow so fast. If we do not get them now, it's a bit difficult to just change them mm -hmm. because they have not seen it. And um, this creative process is also a journey. It's, it's something like a discipline that we have to do all mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have to say, Adrian, I will look at my son's homework every day. Mm -hmm. I will ask my son, how was your day? Mm. My son will also end up asking me, how was your day, mommy? Simply mm. because I asked. And when you ask him, how was your day? He will tell you. He'll just say, fine. If you really want to know more, he'll say, tell me exactly what happened. Mm. And then he'll tell you. And along the way, you will realize there was this agreement between A and B or C and D. But if you just say, fine, and you also go away to your <laughs> computer, you will never be able to unlock all those other hidden versions you get of their fine. You get responding the WhatsApp yes. messages that were sent <laughs> <laughs> during that day, and you didn't have time to respond to them. Yes. <laughs> wow. So... Um, there is time you, you talked about uh, in our first part of the show. You, talk, you say that when your child creates, or oh, in creativity, don't keep the creations mm -hmm. to yourself. Yes. Share them. So why, uh, what is the power that is hidden in mm -hmm. sharing your ideas? Because some people are so rigid uh, mm -hmm. that 
they think when I come up with an art piece and I put it out, then people will copy it. Mm. So what, what, what is the secret behind sharing? <laughs> I will just give you my view. Mm. Uh, when I say it should be shared with a community, mm. I have also learned and listened in to different people. Mm. We say that um, you have done your part right mm. now. So it is time for it for your creation to move. Allow it to be nurtured. Allow it to grow. Allow it to be received by another person who will again recreate it. Your job is done because we continue in all this creation, we continue to learn, relearn and unlearn. For you your painting will look like this. Mm. But when I give it to you, you might change it all and then have a different story of this creativity. And it will be different, just like what we say when we are innovating. When you're innovating, those ideas that you're creating, you give them life. Allow other people, because at the end of the day we were saying it becomes a circle. It is cyclical. It comes back again, again and again but in different ways okay. yes now so uh, okay. as we as you say you're an artist you mm. don't want people to copy your ideas mm. i think you're not allowing your create when you don't allow your creativity to be shared then for us we don't call that creativity mm. yes i don't know what what to call it but you must be able that even as you start this process of creativity at the back of your mind you're going to inspire you're going to change you're going to nurture you can't create for yourself that's why we started i told you from jonathan i learned that creativity is individual and universal it is just together it is together yeah Wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so um, mm. we know that in order to explore mm. your creativity, you should be at least a friend of reading mm. so that you get <laughs> more and more exposed. Yes. So what are some of those uh, readers that, um, mm. and what strategies do you have uh, when it comes to reading? <laughs> I told you my problem. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a good reader, but I want to thank... Um, I want to, to thank my partner at home. He kept mm. saying, he keeps telling us to read. He reads a lot. He actually says, nobody should touch my books in the house. Don't give away my books. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> who's going to give away your books? So I sat down because I had that problem of reading. I said, maybe, let me try this year and read 12 books. Maybe one book a month. Mm. And believe me, Adrian, I haven't gone over three books and we're already like six months. I haven't <laughs> finished the third book. And I want to thank, um, I, want, uh, I want to say that when you read, mm. you're, you're always you're learning also mm. different creative ways. Mm. So I want to also thank Brighter Simwe, who mm. gave me a beautiful book called The Everyday Hero Manifesto about leaders. I'm so sure, Adrian, by the time I finish reading that book, mm. I will be a very different person. Mm. Yes. So even then, I'm telling you, my journey of reading, mm. I am also learning, and I am allowing myself to fail and make mistakes. Mm. But I'm sure by the end of the year, I will have done a good job. Mm. And that book from Bright Asimwe is by Robin, Robin Sharma. Yes, and thank you, Bright. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Bright. <laughs> now, uh, uh, kindly tell us about the, the camp. I know you're organizing a holiday camp as yes. could be do. Mm -hmm. um, what is the whole instance of this camp? And uh, what should parents expect their, ch their children to achieve out of this camp? Um, Thank you. We are having a camp for, we will be having another one as well in January, but we're having a camp for the international curriculum. Mm -hmm. And uh, the main theme, we, call, we, we are calling it creativity through a child's eyes. We are, it's mainly going to be fun field and play. And um, we are working with, um, with a team of very good specialists. Yes, from my business network, BNI, I didn't mm. talk about it. But um, 
I am going to work with Sharon, yes, who's going to t take th children through uh, vision boards where kids come up and say, I have a dream, this is what I want to be. So we want the children to come up and be in their authentic selves as we even start the camp, such that they are able to say, for me in my world, I want to be this. So we're going to teach them through vision boards. They will have them, take them home and keep following up and updating on them. On day two, we have Sila's oven. She's a very great baker, yeah. Priscilla. She's going to take children through fun treats, making um, making brownies, making cookies. She's very passionate in her baking. Even then, she will tell you that the children will be the chocolate chip in her cookie. Yeah. And then we will have, um, we, we, we will have who? Rita, take us through, Rita is also with BNI, she will take us through social and personal etiquette, yes, teaching the children hygiene and health, and she is very good and also looking forward. We also have Doreen from Fire Extinguishers, Uganda Fire Experts, who will also t talk to us about fire and health safety at mm. home because some parents or children don't even know that we need a fire extinguisher mm. in the kitchen. We also have a team. We have Cliff who will take us through art and craft. Children will have their t-shirts dyed and have all those names with different verses that they believe in in the Bible. And I believe it will be exciting. We have Lillian Katiso who's going to talk about money matters. You know, these wow. children can come in and they don't even know how the parents struggle to get this money. Yeah. And even some parents don't struggle mm -hmm. but okay the process the creative process even if it's not struggling and exciting so we are going to just base the money matters on the jewish jar principles the five jars and i think they will find that exciting we also have stame yes we have robert from stame genius he's going to bring in the whole world of science and discovery <laughs> and i'm sure it will be a super saturday and it will be exciting and on that super saturday when robert is doing the science and discovery with his team the children will also have that time to talk to their parents what they've learned, express what happened, and even then be able to sell some of the products they did with art and craft, mm. so be able to have some money that they can also go and put in their jar. Eventually find their way to an account where they will be able to save that money and say, my parents bought my art piece and here is the money I started with and opened an account mm. in bank A, B, C or D. Okay. Yes. So what does it take to be part of this camp? To be part of this camp, we have a flyer that we've been sharing. You can call us. Our offices are adjacent to Teranga Restaurant in Bogolovi, Mandali Rise. So they can come in and book a slot. We're not taking in a big number so that we can be able to also have value delivered to these children. And and the classes, the, the, the fun day starts at 9 mm. and ends at 2. And also on Money Matters, Lillian is also going to teach them about charity, giving back. And we will be able to ask the children to see whether they have something to give back to the missionaries of the Poor Foundation. Mm. We will not go there. They will come and be able to receive what the children have given them. Okay. Yes. So we but it's also going to... Adrian, it's also going to be a fun a fun camp mm -hmm. it's not just learning the age group is 6 to 12 6 to 12 years um, we also have the age group of 5 mm -hmm. but that is the target age group because the 5 years are also having something mm -hmm. And we will have splash activities. They will play on the bouncing castle. So it will be free play. And we will also have a library for the ones who want to read, a mini library. Because some people also put all their thoughts into reading. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, in a minute, as we are winding up with mm -hmm. this show, what advice do you have mm -hmm. for parents, especially when it comes to enabling the creativity and innovation among these children? Oh, I don't, I will embrace it back to my home, my father. My father raised all of us knowing that everything is possible. My father raised me knowing that it's okay to fail mm. and my mother. My mother taught, prepared my sisters to look after us in that creative way that even when challenges came, she was ready to take us up on. So let's 
let's let's teach our children to understand that challenges are part of creativity it's okay for them to fail and as they fail let them fail forward but it's a journey that is between the parents and the children and we continue learning from each other so there is no clear path to say this my sister Christine as well she's very clear particular systems she's a process fat person me myself i am very in my own world but again i listen into her because sometimes i need that discipline mm. that puts me on track so whatever way we need to be able to to drink from everyone's cup the father the mother the teacher at school the leader in charge the housekeeper everybody it can't be from one person Yes. And wow. I send all my greetings yeah. to a great team of Scooby Doo. The boys, you mean so much to Scooby Doo and thank you so much for putting us where we are. Thank you. <laughs> all having been said, may the Almighty God bless you so much. Edwin Osman Kalazi is my name. Stay blessed. My son. <laughs>